Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley and this is part of a crash course on Principle for Mac. Principle is a great tool for creating UI animations and interactions. And on this uh, session, we're going to learn how to create a parallax effect, which is pretty cool. So enough talk, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so in this session, we're going to create a really simple parallax effect. I have a sketch file here where I design uh, different mountains. Um, and let me show you how they look. Let me, let me drag all the elements outside uh, the artboard and then also the near one. So, oops, sorry. So as you can see here, I have uh, three groups of layers. One uh, of mountains that are near you, ones that are a little bit farther away and other mountains that are way, way, way far away from you. So uh, to create the parallax effect, uh, you want the, the elements that are closer to you to move a little bit faster, whew, super fast, and then the ones that are a little bit uh, further away from you to move a little bit slower than, than, than the one that is closer to you, and then the one that is way, way in the back to move way, way slower. So, so yeah, let me go ahead and, and command C everything that I did here. And now I have all of these elements and I'm going to import them into uh, principle. So I'm going to go to principle here. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and I'm going to import my uh, sketch file. Let me zoom out so you can see all the elements. So you can see here I have the, uh, the, uh, the mountains that are a little bit near to you, the ones that are in the middle and then the ones that are far, far away. So I'm going to, this is going to be my starting point and I'm going to duplicate this uh, artboard to just press Command-V, select it and press Command-V. And now here, I'm going to move this group. I'm going to move it all the way to the left. That way it passes in front of you on your viewport. And then these mountains are going to move a little bit more. And then the ones that are in the middle and the ones that are far away, I'm going to move too, but just a little bit, just a little bit. And then the clouds are going to actually move in the opposite direction, just a little bit too. There you go. And now, I have my two states from here to here. And now I need to create an event that triggers the animation between those two states. So I'm going to just add a simple tap to this. So I'm going to add a tap. And this tap is going to take me to this screen. So I'm going to tap and drag and all the way to the screen. And then I'm going to do the opposite on this one. No, but before that, let's test this one. So I'm going to go to my preview and I just press and let me go to the beginning. And obviously it does this super quick because by default, uh, every animation in principle is uh, three milliseconds, is, sorry, three, a third of a second. So uh, I can obviously make this slower by uh, dragging these keyframes here on the animation and make them uh, instead of uh, a third of a second, I want them to be two seconds. There you go. Now let's test it. Now if I, let's get to the beginning. I press it and then it lasts two seconds. And then obviously the, the uh, elements, the mountains that are a little bit closer to you move super fast. The ones that are in the middle move a little bit slower and the ones in the back move way, way, way slower. So let's see it again. Let's see it again. That looks pretty cool. Now I want to add an event that when I tap here, it goes back. So I just do it by selecting this. I'm going to add a tap event. I'm going to uh, move. <laughs> and yeah, to the first screen and let's test it out. Uh, so here is slow and here is super fast. So I need to uh, change the uh, the timing of this. So I'm going to select it here, this animation from this screen to the other one, and I'm going to select all these uh, keyframes and I'm going to move them to two seconds. There you go. Let's test it out. And now it goes all the way here, and then it goes back. Pretty cool, pretty simple, and creates really cool effect. Uh, hope uh, this helps you on your prototypes and you can create amazing things using Principle and Sketch.